all right i'm only making this video for my music and i'll leave a link in the description um if you want to show hate on my uh music channel well i don't care because guess what i have the comments and in review so uh, i hold all the comments and reviews so i won't be uh, well no one else will see it except me and if you guys want to make me laugh might as well right but you know you know what's crazy is that i don't even go as hard as i used to in these videos and people still get mad at me people really project their insecurities onto me and project who they are onto me which is absolutely crazy i'd even talk down to you guys in my previous videos but you guys still want to get pissed off but anyway whatever I want to talk about God of War Ragnarok. So, or God of War Ragnarok Valhalla. This game is absolute. <laughs> I want to start off with Tyr. Now, I don't care uh, about spoiling you guys. I don't care because I've seen some of the gameplay. And Tyr, they try to redeem Tyr in this game. And I'm just like, why? Tyr was an absolute trash character in Ragnarok, and I know what you guys are going to say. Well, that was actually Odin, uh, so you can't say that. Well, it was Tyr. It was. They just did some sloppy writing at the end to make it seem like it wasn't Tyr. Tyr was an absolute terrible character. Now, before I continue on, I wanted to say that I am not an Xbox fanboy. This is me being unbiased. Xbox is dead, and that's it. I'm just going to leave it at that because Xbox is truly dead, and that's it. Alright, now like I said, Tyr was a horrible character and trying to redeem him in Valhalla and make him seem like this tough guy that was in uh, Valhalla for centuries and no one could mess with him or something like, dude, and trying to train uh, Kratos is absolute terrible writing. I don't care what anyone tells me. That's absolutely horrible. Uh, terrible writing, he was, t the writing was terrible in Ragnarok too, just in general, the whole story. I did not like Ragnarok at all. I liked the first game. I thought the first game was good, but Ragnarok was very underwhelming. Uh, the writing was just terrible. I mean, uh, let's talk about, um, what's his name? Atreus. The guy that was supposed to be Loki, but he, he they don't believe in prophecy anymore, so they just write their own stories and stuff. It's so lame. It just defeats the purpose of even having him called Loki. What was the point of him called Loki? Like, why do you guys do this? Now, I don't care about any of these games anymore, but I'm just going to give uh, my viewpoint on it, right? So, that's why I'm making this video. It's just so embarrassing. I just don't understand why they did this. It's like, what's the point of having him Loki in the build-up in the first game to uh to Ragnarok and, and the build up in the second game is absolutely horrible. And I know some people are going to say, well, it was a different director, it was a different uh i guess you could say viewpoint or whatever but still it's still terrible regardless nonetheless um but valhalla is just another whatever dlc i mean i i don't know what to tell you guys this is absolutely just not that good well it's not good at all it's just i don't know trying to redeem tier is just <laughs> not the way to do it and like i said him revisiting his old self and stuff like that. I don't really care about it. I mean, they, they pander to nostalgia again. I, I do want to bring this up. The thing about pandering to nostalgia is that it, 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 is, it gets old for me, but it never gets old for you guys. That's the thing. You guys eat it up every single time. Uh, they they do this every single time they did this with spider-man with uh the the other spider-man in there and it's like dude like what like that's all that they rely on and you guys eat it up that's how i know that you guys are all the same there's nothing new there's nothing invented there's nothing there's nothing except my music my music is the only thing that's pushing anything but anyway yeah <laughs> i'm being dead serious dude <laughs> dang i'm the greatest but yeah um i don't know i just don't know what to tell you guys like this trailer is just let me see it's just this isn't this isn't it right here like i might as well stretch this video out because i have I, I don't have anything to do right now but i don't know i just like i want to talk about future games like how are they gonna make these stories like in future games like 
And, oh, wait, wait, wait. Before you guys leave, if you've made it to this part, actually, I just remembered something. You you guys are in for a special treat because I actually had, I actually rewrote some of the God of War Ragnarok story in my head. They could have made it a lot better with Atreus. He could have actually wanted to be on Odin's side and not made Odin so just pathetic. Like, I mean, Odin was pathetic in Ragnarok too. But still, like, they could have, uh, it's just... They had the elements there, they had the assets there, but it just wasn't executed properly. I just feel like it just wasn't that good. Like, some things don't take, like, a whole bunch to just rewrite the tone of the story and make it a lot more serious. And just stop making Kratos just, just like, a, a nagging father and Atreus just a, a, an annoying kid. It's just so underwhelming, dude. Like, I just had to talk about that. It's just, like, I, if you don't agree with me, I don't know what to say, dude. I just don't know what to say. You guys just eat up whatever, man. And that's why gaming is at, is where it's at, because it's where, where it's at, right? Like, this is why no one cares about gaming anymore. Gaming is literally, like, gaming is really on the verge of death. Like, no one, like... <laughs> It's no joke out here, man. It, it's just, it's just sad. It's the same, it's almost in the same boat as anime, but anime is actually dead. Anime is actually dead. It's, it's no joke. I don't know how people even watch anime anymore. Uh, I don't even want to get into it. I don't even want to get into it, but I'm going to get into the story about what I had. Now, this is what I had for Ragnarok, at least. Atreus could have actually turned into Loki and try to betray his father and had to fight his father at least. Or he didn't even have to fight his father. He could have just betrayed him in a way and it could it could have went for a better story. And I do want to say this part that it would have been cool if Loki had like some type of like he risked his life for um you know the mask that they were using in Ragnarok, right? It would have been cool if uh he knew the future where uh Kratos was actually gonna die and he risked his life for his father. That would have been cool. That would have been that would have stuck to the prophecy or whatever. It would have made for a better story and like something could have happened to Loki and he could have like like either a dismemberment, he could have lost the arm or he could have got like severely burned or something at the ending sequence. That would have been so cool if they did that. But, you know, they don't believe in like having what's the word I'm looking for? They don't believe in like uh sacrifices basically. Like I mean he could have made the ultimate sacrifice and it would have made him way cooler in the next game and people would have actually fell in love with his character more. And some people understand what I'm saying and the other people are just going to bash me because that's what you guys do, you're NPCs. But still, it's just one of those things that it could have been done a lot better. But yeah, uh this is basically the video um what else? What is there else to, is there to say? I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know how people like the story to Ragnarok. I just don't know. It's just not good. Like, other than Spider-Man, like, Spider-Man showing Venom and the showcase of just Venom, I thought that was pretty clean. I'm not gonna lie. But still, it's like, other than that, I mean, everything was just, it's just a whatever story. I mean, well, for Spider-Man, it was a Spider-Man story. I could say that. I'll give it that. But still, it's just, yeah... It is truly whatever, too. But, yeah, that's basically the video. Uh, check out my music. Um, like I said, if I receive hate, well, no one's going to see except me, and I'll just have a quick laugh. I just look at these comments and laugh. People always leave comments on my videos, even my previous videos and stuff. And, yeah, it's all the same. Like I said, I don't even have to make these videos. I don't even care about this channel anymore. I don't even care about making these videos anymore. But, you know, I guess I'll get my viewpoint. People want to hear it, and plus it just... I guess pisses people off so much that they just want to cry in the comic section below. And uh, it's like, dude, it's never that serious. But it is serious to you guys, I guess. But it is what it is. That's it. And I'm out.